What's up guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Wonderful reading it is. Super positive vibes, energy, and forward movement for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Before I get into your reading, this reading was brought to you by my book that's on Amazon, The Personification of Beauty. I implore you to check it out. Um, search Ashley Gillard on Amazon and it will lead you to it and tell me what you think. So again, the overall energy of this reading, we have... Um, the masculine and the feminine, both in the energy of extreme dedication and intensification, remaining focused on their goals and desires, focused on healing, focused on, you know, the things that bring them happiness. And for the divine masculine, it's realization that the feminine is what brings him healing and happiness um, and add to his life, add value to his life. And the feminine is recognizing um, that this extreme dedication and focus for her or him is towards your goals and manifestation of your dreams and your work. So the feminine is healing the masculine aspect of herself as it pertains to the partnership, but also as it pertains to work and, you know, and practicality and, and not just being all spiritual, but also balancing the masculine energy that she has in herself as well. And I'm saying her, but it can be a male as well. And the masculine is focused on Overcoming the obstacle of overcoming the burden of, you know, letting things go, letting go and releasing the old in order to bring in the new. Overcoming, you know, fear of, you know, missing out. Overcoming the fear of anything that gets in the way of connecting and healing and being together with the feminine which brings him love which brings him healing which brings him peace so both of them in an energy of intensified dedication dedication towards their goals intensified dedica dedication towards healing and the desires you know manifesting the desires of their hearts for the masculine yeah he's ready to build and look the strength in the sun is right under there both highly leo energy Leo, Leo energy. That's this season right now. Both building and preparing an offer to, you know, again, remember I said add value. So preparing an offer that adds value to the feminine or and that adds value to him or her as well. So it's like coming together with the feminine or preparing this offer to come together with the feminine. Like this is what we should do. This is how I think our lives should look together. We should build together. I'm ready to build with you. The feminine... Um, it's changing her life through her work, changing his life through his work. Um, the feminine can be male or female. Sorry for these. I keep, I always do the gender thing, but hey, you know, I'm doing the best I can, but changing your life through work. The feminine is working towards the manifestation of her goals and putting in the practical energy, putting in the energy towards the, you know, the realization of the desires of her work as it pertains to work. In addition to that, the feminine is overcoming the obstacles with the masculine, overcoming the comp competitiveness, overcoming competition, competitive thoughts with the masculine, overcoming deception with the masculine. Because we have the emperor, we have the sun right under those two cards, and we have the five of swords, and we have um, the seven of cups and the star. Healing the masculine aspect, healing the masculine aspects of her thoughts as well. Like thinking things should happen in a way that they don't happen or thinking, you know, that it's not going to require a lot of work to manifest her goals. But also thinking that the divine masculine is what's going to be the one to, you know, come together and make everything happen for her. No, it's about putting your hard work and dedication into your goals. This is a, the energy the feminine is in. Using her masculine energy to balance herself first. So healing that masculine aspect of her by getting her hands dirty, by being dedicated towards her goals and work. So the first part we have is the five. Let's, all right, I, I usually start with the masculine, but I'm going to start with the feminine today. The five of pentacles, clarified by the empress, the ace of pentacles, the fool, and the seven of pentacles. Remember, the, the seven of pentacles came out for the divine masculine too. So the feminine is building herself. The feminine is putting herself in a position to save money and, and to manifest her goals. This is creation energy, creating new opportunities for herself, 
not waiting on anybody else to do it. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress, being in the energetic flow of the universe of creative, with creative thoughts, with creative actions, putting in the work necessary to manifest new opportunities and business, new opportunities and career, new opportunities and entrepreneurship, but putting the work in to overcome the obstacle of lack, to overcome financial lack, to overcome hardship, and to manifest, you know, and to um, build. Having faith in herself, having faith in her dreams, having faith in her ideas, and using that to build a life for herself, a, a, a value for herself, sorry, a brand for herself, to build herself up as an individual instead of focusing on the masculine to do that for her. Then we have the Three of Swords and the King of Cups. King of Cups is Libra Scorpio energy. Three of Swords is Libra energy. I resonate with this with being balancing negative energy or bringing balance to negative thoughts and, and releasing those thoughts in order to manifest and create um, and be balancing both the masculine and feminine energies and eight and the feminine. However, I also resonate with Libra seasoning. Building right now. So that things can manifest during Libra season. Building now, knowing that she will reap the rewards later. Soon though, not too much later. But the reward is coming towards her and it's coming very soon. So remaining silent on the rock with the things that's happening right now. Not being moved or swayed by negative energy or forces. Remaining positive in the flow and positive energies and a positive flow of the creative energies of the universe. And using that energy to create. Now, I had a dream last night, and in the dream, it was the King of Cups, and it was saying, remain solid, remain focused, do not be distracted. There's a lot of distractions going on right now, and sometimes those distractions, you know, and I explained this on my Instagram channel in the Daily Energy Reading today, at Ashley Gillard, you should follow me. But anyway, I explained in that video, some of these distractions are here to keep us from evolving to keep us from creating but sometimes you have to shut out the world in order to remain in the energetic positive creative forces of the universe and use that to create and manifest your ideas then we have the emperor clarified by the queen of pentacles and the high priestess notice that these the queen of pentacles you know both gender females and the high priestess both depicted by feminine energy clarifying the emperor. This is balance, but this is also creating a solid foundation for herself. The feminine creating a solid foundation for herself, regardless of who she's with. This is not met, focused on the divine partnership, the twin flame aspect of it. It's her focused on her own masculine energies to create a solid foundation for herself. Again, and next is our high priestess clarified by the three of pentacles. Creating, being in the energetic flow of the universe to create. Partnering with spirit. Partnering with spirit to create synergetic results in her, you know, his or her life. And to change his or her life. And to create and to make a legacy for herself. To make a brand out of herself. And to change her life and bring fortunate circumstances and new opportunities regardless of who she's with because she's a force by herself the feminine is recognizing her ability to be a force by herself to be a boss by herself to be valuable by herself regardless of who she's partnered with then we have a lot of interesting combination we have the knight of pentacles notice that's the knight knight knight's knight putting in the work action knights are about actions Clarified by another Knight of Pentacles, taking actions on her goals. Remember, intensified identification was the overall energy for Oracle cards for both. Intensified ded dedication towards your goals. It don't get no more intense than this. Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Focus on your goals, not being distracted by anything else. Don't have, don't have time about, for anything else. That includes um, this offer. This, that includes masculine's offer. That includes this knight taking action or romantic action towards the feminine. You know, not being focused on, you know, still a bit indecisive about this offer. Still uh, distrusting of this offer. So since the feminine is still distrusting of the masculine and, you know, don't have full trust in what the masculine has to offer, she decides to focus on her work. Well, I mean, what sometimes we like to focus on things that's absolute. If I focus on me, I'm not going to hurt me. So I'm going to focus on things that bring me value. If I want to put 
my all into my goals, into my work and dedicate towards that because that's what I know is absolute. I know that won't hurt me. I know that won't go back and forth with karmic energy. I know that my work adds value to me. This is, this is me speaking as a feminine in this um, energy that I'm challenging. Then that's what I do. I work on the things that make me happy in my my goals make me happy, my desires, and manifesting and seeing my labor come, the fruit of my labor, to see my seeds sprout, to see my ideas turned into businesses and businesses into revenue and, and customers coming in and making connections and business and growing financially, seeing my bank account grow. Those things bring, make the feminine happy because she needed to heal that masculine aspect of her. So sometimes feminines can be so much in the energy of the spirit that we sometimes forget about the masculine aspect of ourselves and that it also requires us to get our hands dirty and to put into work the work to manifest our goals as well so feminine is focused on healing that masculine aspect of herself doing so attracts the divine partnership masculine however the feminine at that point is not trusting of it so she continues to focus on her work but healing feminine is also about healing that distrust healing that especially with your divine partner your twin flame healing um negative energy being open and having faith towards your partnership as well but if it works for you continue to work on your goals and dreams and build yourself up first and heal yourself and your internal masculine energy first and before you connect with your divine partner me to the divine masculine again we're back here healer Divine Masculine sees the Divine Feminine as healing his um, lack of balance in partnerships. So while Feminine is focused on building herself as an individual, Masculine is intensified, has into intensified gratification towards connecting with the feminine and bringing an offer so that they can build together. So while the feminine is in this singular energy of building herself, the masculine is in this couple energy of building together in order for the relationship, in order for the partnership to come together and heal. The first thing we have, my, how the tables have turned. Woo child. <laughs> the tables are turning. We have the nine of cups. Clarified by this King of Cups again. Masculine is feeling blessed to be able to have a partner like the feminine. The masculine is just in the energy of feeling blessed. You know, feeling healed, feeling blessed, feeling... Sometimes when an opportunity is in front of you, it's like, wow. Like, I can really be with this one, like, this beautiful woman or man I this the feminine is mine like I could really I feel blessed to even have her I feel blessed to have the opportunity to be with her I feel blessed that somebody like that loves me she's a healer he's a healer I feel blessed to have that energy with me to have that energy working with me and be for me so the masculine feels blessed to have someone like the feminine to be on his team or to potentially be on his team and to love him or her then we have the Page of Swords. Clarify. Look at that water. I, I love this card. No. Clarified by 6-6. Six, six. The Lovers in the Six of Wands. So it's, the masculine is preparing a message. Or, the you know, the thoughts... That's going on in the masculine mind is, wow, like, coming together with the feminine brings me joy. Coming together with the feminine brings me balance. Coming together with the feeling brings me, like, we can do so much. It's like he has aspirational and ins aspirational thoughts towards what you two can build together. So he's feeling blessed to have you. He's, like, feeling like... First of all, he sees you as a, a success individually. But coming together with you is like wholeness. It's like, think of all the things we can achieve and accomplish when we come together as one. So instead of you working by yourself, think of all the things we can accomplish together. Oh my God, this reminds me of a message that I just got the other day from someone who was, you know, interested in me. And he said, you, we're building 
couples dreams as single people we should be doing this together that's that's the energy i'm getting from this reading it's like the masculine is like we should be building together just think of all the look i see you success was in individually but think of all the things we can be successful with when we come together it's you know it's two sixes right there it's like intensified I love that that card came out in this reading. It's like our dedication towards our goals, our life intensifies when we're together. I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Then we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Will and Fortune. He's in love. This masculine is in love with you. This masculine is in love with you. He sees a fortunate change of events in his life by coming together with you. He, his cup runneth over. You make him explode. <laughs> it's like an extreme amount of compassion and love and, and intimacy for the feminine. Then we have seven of wands creeping in. Seven of wands. <laughs> Clarify. Again, we have an, um, another king in here. The king of swords, the temperance, and again, the nine of cups. King of swords, temperance, nine of cups. Masculine is like, I ain't worried about the drama. Yeah, it may be some drama when we come together. Yeah, it may be some opposition or opposing forces when we come together. But I'm not worried about it because I st you bring me peace. Let's start here. I'm not worried about it because you bring me peace. Regardless of what's going on in the background, I'm not going to distract that from everything that we could be doing together. I'm not going to distract, allow that to distract me from the blessings of coming together with the feminine. He's like, I still want you. Regardless of what's going on in the background, regardless of, you know, I will fight for you. Because I see you as a blessing. And I'm not going to let anything get in the way of my blessing. Hmm. Interesting. Change of events. Then we have the Ten of Coins clarified by the Six of Swords. He's ready. He's like, let's enter this new phase of life. It may require for someone to move or transition or, you know, a family. You might have to move your family or the feminine may have to move her family to enter this new phase of life with the masculine. But he's willing to do that. He's like, ready. Maybe this is also probably what... You know, some of the hesitation was earlier in in his mind before because it's, it's going to require a big move. It's a big transition in the feminist life. It's a big transition in his life. But he's ready for it. Regardless of how big it is or what it's going to require, the masculine is ready to make this transition into a new phase of life with the feminine. So if you have to move, you have to move. Someone's, somebody's going to have to move. And I feel like that's the energy of the feminine moving. To enter this new phase of life with the masculine. Then we have. Yeah, lots of cards came out to clarify these cards. I'll go through it one by one. Then we have the five of cups. Clarify. It's so many cards. It all, it's all attuning to the same thing. Clarify by the page of swords. Four of Swords, the Chariot, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, and Eight of Cups. And I'll just go ahead and couple with the last card. And the last card we have is the Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm getting, I'm channeling several different energies with this. Moving forward with the feminine still requires the masculine to make a sacrifice. So the masculine is still in this energy of, you know, anxiety a little bit. The feminine brings some happiness, but the action of coming together with the feeling, the act of expressing himself and Letting her know or the feminine know how he feels. The action of moving away from karmic relationship patterns and things of that sort that no longer serves the connection with him and the feminine. 
um, making forward movement towards this new phase of life with the feminine, it still is still kind of it still brings burdensome energy. Um, yes, he's overcome by love. Yes, he loves the feminine, wants to con connect with her or, or him. But this forward movement is still brings a little bit of anxiety because it's going to require for him to break up with karmics, break up with. Um, patterns and, and things the single life break up with relationships that don't fit the connection with him and the feminine the masculine and the feminine so it's and then it's also you know a little anxiety as it pertains to how the feminine will react because if you remember the last part of the feminine's energy as well the feminine is also a little apprehensive and distrusting in this partnership at this point because look what it's been through. If you watch these twin flame readings, this has just been so much. So it's anxiety on the feminine's part and anxiety on the masculine part, but not more so anxiety, but it's a lack of trust on the feminine's part. She, you know, the same five of swords energy is like, mm, I don't know if I'm a mess with it. I'm gonna still focus on my work. That was the feminine, right? And the masculine is like, man, what if she says no, or man, I put her through a lot, or man, I have to let go of, it's a lot going on. I have to let go of all this additional BS and break up with karmics and break up and stop doing these other things I was doing in order to connect with the feminist, still a little burdensome. But if you have read, listened to this reading, all of the good energy outweighs the negative. So the challenge for the masculine would be Regaining the trust of the feminine because this is intensified dedication, dedication towards her goals. This feminine is intensified dedication towards her work. His intensified, the masculine's intensified dedica dedication is going to be to connect with the feminine. So even though it may be burdensome to let go of the past, he's still going to do it because his dedication towards the feminine is intensified. So I'll stop there because, you know, we have to allow these readings to play out too. Um, I think I've said enough, but, you know, it's going to be a battle to regain the trust of the feminine. And honestly, look at the comments on these videos and these other readings and things of that sort. A lot of uh, feminine energies aren't, you know, they, they're letting go of these masculines because... You know, they've been through so much. And when you were so sure about something and it continuously rejected you and almost felt like unrequited love, sometimes when that person comes back to you, after you've already started healing yourself, feminines aren't just going to be a negative energy. Feminines are going to be feminines and heal. And once they start healing themselves and these masculine comes in like, oh, now that you're healing, I'm bad. But really, both were healing. But still, looking at it from the perspective of the feminine, you know, he or she may not want to deal with that because, again, they they just heal themselves or are healing themselves from the partnership. But really, in reality, both sides, masculine and feminine, were both healing both aspects of themselves. So it may have taken the masculine a while to heal his feminine side and connect with his feminine side internally. So that's because of the karmic and things of in his way distract, distracting him. The, or the feminine had to heal the masculine aspect of herself as well and know that she is whole by herself. She is good and valuable by herself. She is a table. She doesn't have to sit at someone else's table. You are the table. So anyway, masculine, it's going to be hard work and intensified dedication towards, you know, connecting with this feminine. But like, as you already know, it's worth it because the feminine is a blessing and you are a blessing too. So hopefully the feminine can overcome this obstacle or this lack of trust in and restore faith in the U.S. She's restoring the faith in her internal masculine energy as well. Okay, guys, um, thank you for watching. I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you love, I wish you lights, and I wish you more light. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. 
Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.